Hello everyone, my name is Chin Valdez and today I want to talk about this new very very good looking costume in Ragnarok Origin Global. So this was the costume that I was telling you guys about. I was saving for this. You were actually saving our wishing tickets for this. Now the stats aren't really that useful for paladins. But we just wanted to get for the aesthetics of course. Passion beats performance. Always in any and every game. <laughs> So I wanted to go for a certain look, like maybe combine it with the castle phantom or something. There! So we were trying to go for something like this. Now this would have been our paladin look. Now the stats are also nothing to scoff at. While it's not too useful for paladins, it seems very overpowered for almost all other DPS clashes. I think this will benefit champions the most. No, we're seeing a lot of strength and intelligence all around. So on the headwear, it gives us, well, of course, it gives us speed def, M def, strength, intelligence, global cooldown minus 3%, physical damage and magic damage plus 3.5%, damage versus players plus 3%, and additional physical and magic damage plus 0.5%, per defined plus 10. Hmm. <laughs> See, I think this new costume is very catered towards champions for PvP. <laughs> for the face wear, it's of course physical and magic defense again. But there's also strength, intelligence, and dexterity all at plus 3. Damage versus demi human plus 5%. And damage reduction versus demi human. Plus 5%. Now, very, very PvP oriented for champs. <laughs> now, the back wear is what I really, really wanted the most. This is what I was really planning to redeem. Even if the stats don't really benefit Paladins. No, but I really wanted these black wings. So, it gives physical defense plus 16. Max SP plus 5%. Hello, champions. Strength and intelligence plus 5. Hello, champions. <laughs> SP recovery plus 5%, SP consumption minus 10%, and a stack speed plus 3%. And the main costume gives 3.5% physical attack, 3.5% magic attack, physical damage and magic damage reduction plus 2%, fixed cast time minus 3%, ignore physical and magic defense plus 4%, and when you deal damage, Gain a 5% chance to ignore 50% of target's physical defense and magic defense. Cooldown, it says 0 seconds. I'm not sure if this is a typo or whatever. But it says cooldown at 0 seconds. <laughs> okay, so now here's the kicker. In other versions of Ragnarok Origin, this was available in the Wishing Gacha. Where we could use our Gacha tickets and Redemption Coins. So I actually still have 57 tickets saved up and 130 redemption coins. Specifically for that costume or just the back wear at least. Not just for the aesthetics because passion beats performance every time in every game. But here in Ragnarok Origin Global, <laughs> you can only get it by paying to win! Wow! <laughs> Of course, I think maybe you have a small chance to get it as free-to-play. Maybe. Probably. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how rigged the systems are or the gacha systems are here in Ragnarok Origin. But it looks like Ragnarok Origin Global has turned this costume into another cash grab event. That's not very friendly for low spenders to free-to-play. <laughs> I think it's pretty understandable. The stats are pretty overpowered, I think, especially for PvP. But here's my question. Why is it that Ragnarok Origin Global copy-pastes everything from Taiwan down to all the trash mechanics of War of Imperium, even if we have completely different demographics from Taiwan? And then when it comes to something like this, we have scummy cash grab event. <laughs> Woo, gravity, good company. Shout out to my idol, Koki Gacha, who just announced his retirement from Ragnarok Origin. 
Very, very sad. Very unfortunate. But I'm still looking forward to content that he makes on other games next time on his YouTube channel. So, it's very interesting. We actually get this egg balancing event, I think, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. So, we'll finally see how hard or how easy it will be for us to actually get this back where. <laughs> Now, this is the only one I want. Now, I just want the back where I don't want anything else. You know, it doesn't do anything for our paladin. But still, it's just very interesting to see how Ragnarok Origin Global does things here. You no, know, and or at least the direction that they're going in. You still have a lot of bugs, you know, like tremendous number of bugs. Can't count them anymore, actually. Heavy shield training skill is still bugged. It still doesn't work, which forces all paladins to go sacrifice build. Shield skills aren't competitive enough because this doesn't work. You no, know, for some reason it just doesn't work. <laughs> so you just be wasting 10 skill levels on heavy shield training. In the previous guild expedition, there were no MVPs. They just didn't spawn. <laughs> they just didn't spawn. No, and it's a guild event. Everyone sets aside time just to be available for these guild events. And then the guild expedition MVPs just don't spawn. <laughs> So there are countless number of bugs and now this new cash grab event. So it's very, very interesting. I don't plan to quit anytime soon. I actually still enjoy Ragnarok very much. Despite the bugs, despite the scummy cash grab events, it's still very fun for me and I still enjoy the game and I still have lots of friends who still play the game. And I still enjoy the PvP. So you guys can expect me to continue creating Ragnarok Origin content as I play the game. But this was just a pretty big slap in the face when I saw this and when I heard about this. I just opened up my Facebook earlier and then I saw it on posts from Lost in Midgard, from Trix, and from other people in the community. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I saved up for this. Saved up my tickets for this. <laughs> But hey, cheers to you, Gravity Good Company. Even if you guys are scummy, your game is still pretty fun to play. So, here's a few moments we had from last night's Guild League versus Hubris. If you guys want to see the build that we use for our sacrifice palette, then we actually have several videos on our builds. On our, we also have different tips, different tricks for you guys to fully maximize your sacrifice paladin, or at least how I use my sacrifice paladin. We have lots of different gameplay showcases, and as I mentioned, we have tips on builds for our sacrifice paladin. If you enjoy the content, consider liking and subscribing. Turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on our new videos. Hope to see you guys on the next one.